Nikhilam back. Friends, I am back with the third application of Nikhilam Navdasharmam Dashtaha. And that third application is how to divide certain numbers by 9. And then we will talk about how to divide certain numbers with the numbers which are very close to and less than the parts of 10. And let's start with examples. We are starting with division of any two digit number by 9 using Nikhilam Sutra. Let's take example, we have a number 13 which has to be divided by 9. First of all, the base here is 10 and 10 has 1 0. So after units place, I will put a bar here and, and right hand side of the bar give me remainder and left hand side will give me the quotient. So the quotient in this case will be equal to this number which is equal to 1. And remainder in this case will be equal to previous number plus 3 which is 4. So quotient is 1 and the remainder is 4. Next example is 34 divided by 9. Again the base is 10 so I'll put a bar here. The quotient will be equal to this number which is equal to 3 and the remainder will be 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7. Remember remainder cannot be greater than 9. Next example 96 divided by 9 again base is 10 10 has 1 0 so I will put a bar here after units place. Now my quotient will be equal to 9 and the remainder will be equal to 9 plus 6 15 but all of us know that remainder can't be greater than 9 so what I'm going to do here is I will subtract 9 from remainder and add 1 in the quotient so our quotient will be equal to 10 and the remainder will be equal to 6 so dividing 96 by 9 quotient is 10 and the remainder is 6. Let's discuss how to divide a 3 digit number by 9. We have a 3 digit number 213. We know that the base is 10 so I'll put a bar here and after this bar I'll get the value of remainder and before bar we will get the value of quotient. Now what is quotient in this case? Quotient is 2 and the next digit will be equal to 2 plus 1 and what is 2 plus 1? 2 plus 1 is 3. The remainder will be equal to cumulative sum 2 plus 1 plus 3 which is equal to 6. The next number is 562 divided by 9. Again, I'll put a bar here because 10 has only one zero. So after units place, I'll put a bar. Quotient will be equal to the first digit will be 5. Second digit will be sum of these two. 6 plus 5, which is 11. How will I write 11? I will write 1 here and 1 carry. And last one, the remainder. Remainder will be equal to the cumulative sum. And the cumulative sum here is 13. 13 is a cumulative sum. But we know that remainder can't be greater than 9. So what I'm going to do is, I'll subtract 9 from this. And I will give 1 here. And my quotient will be equals to 62. And remainder will be equals to 4. Next example. Dividing any number by 9. Now let's take a large number. We have a number 13210 and I want to divide it by 9. Again, my procedure is exactly same. My quotient here will be equal to 1. And then sum of 1 and 3 which will give me 4. Cumulative sum I'll keep on taking. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 
and after this will be remainder remainder will be 7 plus 0 which is 7 so if I divide 13,210 by 9 my question will be 1467 and remainder will be 7 next number a bigger number even again same method the quotient will be equal to 2 next digit is 2 plus 4 which is 6 6 plus 5 is 11 1 carry 11 plus 6 is 17 1 carry 17 plus 7 is 24 2 carry again now remainder will be 24 plus 8 which is 32 but again it can't be greater than 9 and I have to subtract a biggest multiple of 9 which is possible here I will subtract 9 into 3 27 if I am subtracting 27 then I have to add 3 here and the remainder will be equal to 5 and the quotient will be equal to 7, 9, 2, 7, 2, 27,297. So this is how we can divide any number by 9. Now let's try to divide any number by a number which is close to and less than the power of 10. Let's start with the example. We have to divide 532 by 98. Now here base is 100. 100 has two zeros so I'll put a bar here. Two zeros means after two digit I'll put a bar. We have to be careful about the deviation in this case. The deviation in this case is 2. Yeah, 2 is a deviation. And 2 is going to be my multiplicating factor. How are we going to find quotient and remainder? I will write 5 as it is. And then this number multiplied by 2 is 10. I will write 10 here. And I will stop the process when I reach to the last digit. I will stop this process. And now add these numbers. I will get the remainder. So 42 is my remainder and 5 is the quotient. Let's look in one more example which is 798 divided by 92. Again base is 100. Base 100 means after 2 digit I'll put a bar. Yeah. Right. The deviation. Deviation in this case is 8. So multiplicating factor will be 8. Let's try to find quotient and remainder. This number as it is. First number as it is. Second number will be now 8 is a multiplicating factor. I'll multiply this 7 by 8 and I will get 56. And the remainder. Let's add these numbers. If I add these numbers. I will get 154. I know that the remainder can't be greater than 92. So what will I do in this case? I will subtract 92 from 154 and I will get 62 and 1 we will add here as we did earlier. So our quotient is 8 and the remainder is 62 next example yeah even a bigger number by 97 base is 100 100 has two zeros so put a bar here deviation is of 3 it means my multiplicating factor will be 3 let's try to find the quotient and remainder first number as it is 6 second number will be 6 multiplied by 3 which is 18 now add 3 and 1 I will get 4 now multiply 4 by 3 I will get 12 what is 8 plus 4 plus 1 13 
now multiply 13 by 3 which is equal to 39 add these numbers we will get some of these numbers will be 4 plus 3 7 now 7 multiplied by 3 is 21 now I have reached to the last digit so I will stop the process here and I will add the numbers 9 plus 2 11 and 1 12 and 3 plus 1 4 again remainder can't be greater than 97 so subtract 97 from 124 I will get 27 and since I have subtracted 97 once so 1 I will give here and I will get the quotient so our quotient will be 6 we need to add these numbers 5 3 8 and the remainder is 27 next example oh even bigger number let's take it as a challenge and try to solve base is 100 after two digits I'll put a bar multiplicating factor is going to be 9 now this is going to be a bit lengthy question and let's start step 1 write 7 as it is what is 7 multiplied by 9 is 63 8 plus 6 is 14 now 14 multiplied by 9 will give me 126 now add these number 12 plus 4 16 plus 3 19 now I'll multiply 19 by 9 19 multiplied by 9 is 171 again add these numbers 17 plus 12 will give me 29 now 29 multiplied by 9 261 2 6 1 now 26 plus 1 27 plus 5 is 32 so I'll write 32 here and then a bar yeah what is 32 multiplied by 9 32 multiplied by 9 is 288 yeah now add 28 plus 1 is 29 plus 9 is 38 38 and 8 plus 2 is 10 1 carried it will become 39 390 now again look at this number and 390 my remainder in any ways cannot be greater than 91 subtract a multiple of 91 from 390 and the multiple of 91 equals to what is 4 multiplied by 91 is 364 so I will give 4 here and I will subtract 364 from this and which will give me 26 so remainder will be equal to 26 and quotient will be equal to 86,226 so this was all about Nikilum division now I have few questions for you to practice you will pause this video and try to solve all these problems as quickly as possible hope you must have solved by now let's verify the quotients and remainders which you have obtained first question quotient will be 9 remainder 2 second one 472 divided by 9 quotient 52 remainder 4 third one quotient 9405 and the remainder 0 next one 
equation will be 4, 3, 9, 7 and remainder 95 and the last one quotient 8, 2, 7, 0 and remainder will be 861. I am sure you must have liked the video and learned many tricks about division. My suggestion keep applying these tricks as much as possible. Practice makes man perfect. Keep practicing these tricks and you will develop some good calculation skills. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to watch more videos. Keep following us on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page Mathemagic. Thank you and have a nice day.